Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Um, so in this video it's going to be slightly longer as I'm taking buddy training for five days um, or four days I can't remember, at Ashbourne. Um, so I'm going to absolutely disgusting but I will show you kind of roughly where we put everything to travel so obviously we've got the hay nets down here ready to go up um, I hope Buddy might be going in the middle, middle bit and then Ernie will be going on the end obviously the partitions will be put over and then under here just have my little step stool spare head collar and lead rope here we have my wheelbarrow buckets my tack locker which has all my saddle and everything in which I'll show you later um, rugs down there and also rugs up there Izzy saddle and girth and then we've also got our uh, rake and broom in there so that is everything for the horses and we've got the bridles etc in the side locker but I won't show you that for a minute <laughs> because it is absolutely disgusting so we've got the feeds down here and some in the skirt lockers um then in here we've got oh uh, let's see if i can show you we've got the speedy beat um some more buckets and a light and oh gosh everything like that then in the living area oh my gosh it's so slippery we have got air fryer for me to cook things my clothes, some more food, my bag, where I'm going to be sleeping, and then all of Izzy's stuff under the table just for a minute while we travel. So I'm now going to fill up the water tank, then I will catch up with you guys either when we're there or when we're traveling. So see you later. Okay everybody, excuse the state of me, I got absolutely drenched, but both boys are in and we're ready to go. So um, Okay everyone, um, we are now here uh, for the training, so the horses are all settled in, uh, I'm just getting the lorry organised and I will give you a tour a little bit later once I've ridden Buddy, but for now, I'll see you later. Okay, so it is now time for me to get Buddy ready for my first lesson, so I have to open up the tax locker and I will grab his stuff out, so um, let's just pop you up there. Here we go. Right. So, Captain's lovely, the sweet And I think I'm going to put my competition on, which, uh, which is um, um Anna. Copy and fit. Yeah, that's good. Hi everyone. I thought I would give you a voiceover of my lessons with Tony. So in our lessons, we really focused on getting Buddy to be in control. So he was listening to me instead of him taking control. And Tony said it's really important that he listens to me and doesn't make his own decisions. This way, uh, I will have more control over what strides we're going on. Uh, if he's going more forward or if he needs to wait and sit on his hocks a little bit more. Um, as you can see, he is getting his flying changes, but not quite as much, but that's okay because he's still fairly young, so we're not pushing them too hard. He went really nicely on the first day, actually. He was very relaxed. Um, thank God for the indoor because it was absolutely horrible weather. But as you can see, we just came around and jumped the upright twice just to get him straight after the fence instead of turning, which he likes to do. 
he was very good and he did um, listen to me although it wasn't the neatest thing in the world we did get uh, a nice round out of him by the end so here we're just popping over a couple jumps together as you can see sometimes he sees the stride he wants to go on and that's what he goes on so we really worked on trying to get him to wait for me after this that fence he did a beautiful flying change so I'm really really proud of him for doing that um, it was quite a tight turn back to this balloon fence but he found it fairly easy and then he just popped over the oxa to finish and I was super impressed with him for day one of training. Okay, so Buddy's lesson went really, really well. It was really informative, which is always great. So now we are just going to give them evening feeds and hay and muck out and everything like that, ready for tomorrow. So I will either catch up with you later or we'll see you tomorrow. That's a wrap for day one of training. Uh, it went really well, really pleased. Very, very excited for the rest of the week. So um, I'm just doing night checks now. It's about six o'clock. So yeah, now it's time to go in the lorry, probably do some revision, eat some food, shower, etc. So I'll catch up with you tomorrow. So good night, bud. Good morning everyone, it is the morning of day two of training. The horses are all mucked out and fed and hayed for the morning. I'm still in my pyjamas, I've just eaten breakfast and watching some Netflix. Um, I think I will get ready probably around nine o'clock, so in about an hour. Uh, and I will go out, help around the yard, uh, watch some horses. And then my lesson's a little bit later, so um, I'll catch up with you after my lesson. Okay, so now it's day two of training. And in this lesson, we really got uh, my position to be correct um, as you can see I was doing some sitting trot and some rising trot to really engage my core have my hands a little bit more up which will also lift buddy up uh, we did lots of work on him moving forward because he is naturally quite a laid-back horse so he does need a lot of encouragement to move forward and really open his stride but as you can see, he looks really good and he was getting it by the, the end of our flat work session. We did have a jump uh, and he was really good, so I was really pleased with that. So again, we're still doing some flat work to get him really thinking forward and not backwards. Because where he is so lazy, he needs to move forward, um, which is really, really important. So now we're having a jump, just popping over this little upright a couple times. As you can see, he really wants to run to the fence and it's really important that he will listen to me. So again, we really worked on staying straight after the fence um, instead of turning too soon because that could break up the rhythm. And then we turn back to this upright just here, which he jumped really nicely and landed on the correct canter lead, which made it then really nice to go to the oxer he came around the corner lovely and he saw his stride and he decided this is the one i'm going on so we did have to end up <laughs> making him wait for me to say this is the stride we want to go on because when the show jumps are bigger and he decides that he wants to go on a stride it could be potentially very dangerous if he just decides that's what he wants to go on and I don't have a choice in the matter. So it's really important that we came around again and he listened to what I was trying to get at. Although it looks a bit messy and you know his head's a bit everywhere, we did get the stride that we wanted. He wasn't too happy after the fence, but that doesn't really matter too much because um, he did what I asked of him in front of the fence, which is really important. He did another nice change here. Oh, we did a trot change, just keeping it simple. I don't want to wind him up with the changes. And he popped over the balloon fence. 
really really nicely so i was really pleased with his session on the second day Okay, so quick catch up since I haven't really spoken to you guys today. Buddy went really well in his lesson. I'm really, really pleased. Uh, we are pretty much done for day two. He's been on the walker twice today. He had his lesson. Um, dinner time is a minute. We've mucked out and gave, get, <laughs> given them their night hay. So I will most likely catch up with you in the morning. So see you then. Look his bedroom is absolutely filthy this morning. A certain someone? <laughs> you? Yes. Okay, so it's day three of training and today both boys are having a bit of an easy day. We are just going to take them out in the outdoor and um, do some flat work with them. Then they're gonna have another jump tomorrow and Monday. So I'm just gonna put my boots on, get Buddy ready, and then I probably won't get any clips of today, but I will try my best. Hey everyone, so Buddy was good for the majority of our ride, but he did have me off. So he did his usual trick of spinning and bronking and very last big spin and I landed on my feet luckily, but he did have me off, unfortunately. But other than that, he worked really well. Um, so he'll go on the walker later today and then I'll probably lunge him before tomorrow's lesson just to get any excess um, energy out. But he, is, <laughs> but he is feeling really, really good and I'm really impressed with how he's going. So um, I will most likely see you tomorrow for day four. Good morning everyone, it is day four of training and it is rather cold today so I'm just going to go find the lunch line and give Buddy a quick lunge before he got on him. So, yeah. <laughs> so we are now on to day three of training at Ashbourne and in today's lesson we <laughs> it was our first time out in the outdoor and it was still fairly windy and from the previous day uh buddy had me off so i was a little bit cautious but actually he was foot perfect so that was really nice here we are just going over the cavalities just um getting him thinking uh making everything nice and smooth for him before we start jumping so he pops down this line very nicely very sweet he does um land on the wrong lead and he does a bit of a bit of a sassy change 
but uh, that's very much expected of Buddy. Um, again, we just continue down the uh, distances, down the cavalettes, just um, getting thinking and forward, and it's all very good as it all contributes towards uh, the jumping, which is great. Now, this was meant to be five strides, but Buddy kept putting four in, so we did end up having to jump the first cavaletti, then doing a circle around this red oxa, and uh, then jumping the second part. He wasn't too pleased about that, but actually after it, I did gain a lot of control. See, like, now I had to do a circle because he was getting way too ahead of me and wasn't listening, and then he popped over the sec second cavaletti beautifully, which was really nice. So now we are just coming back down the cavalettis the other way and he did the distance so much better this way. As you can see he's still fighting my hand a little bit but that's okay, it's not horrendous, it can be easily fixed. Um, popped down it really sweetly, then we started having a little jump and after the fence you'll see I ask him to stop and this is just to put some manners into him for him to start listening to me and my aids. Um, in these transitions you might be able to see my leg pushes him forward and my hands are asking him to stop. So Tony yeah. said that when I ask him to stop I really need to plant my lower leg forward so I'm not miscommunicating with him. So my hand is telling him whoa, and my leg is also telling him whoa. So before, I was pivoting over my knee, so I was pulling with my hands to say stop, and my lower leg was um, coming up behind and pushing him forward, which was sending him mixed communication. Anyways, after we did that exercise a couple times, we then started jumping and I had a lot more control on Buddy, which was brilliant because it allowed me to be in control of the situation and it allowed me not to be a passenger, which is always brilliant when you have control. He popped around really sweetly, so I will let you watch the rest of it.
morning guys from day five the final day of uh training so my lesson is at half past eight so i need to go get ready now buddy is in his stable so i will probably catch up with you after my lesson so see you then so this was my last lesson of training and it was really sad because i was enjoying my time there it was a brilliant experience and I can't wait to do it again at some point. So as you can see, we just popped down two Cavalettis and then we came, we came around the corner to do the other two Cavalettis. And as you can see, Buddy isn't rushing as much to go over these, which is great because we really worked on our control yesterday. So as you can see, we're switching up a bit, changing the lines. He does trip over them but um that's because he is lazy he's not the brightest horse in the world did a sassy change there of course and then we came back down the line of cavalettis and he was very good but he does tend to fight my hand but as you can see it's not half as bad as it was when we started training so that's a great plus um and it's just so interesting to see how they can change so drastically in a short amount of time. So again, we're just popping down the Cavalettis and you can see he went to take me and I didn't ask for him for to take me. So I had to give him a little, whoa, you know, not now. And then we popped over this upright, which I slightly missed him too, but he helped me out. But as you can see, coming back round to this fence here, he wasn't pulling me at all which is amazing because before he probably would have decided, yeah, we're going, you know, I know where I'm going. Again, here he was really good. I buried him a little bit deep, but again, the fences are small, so he can help himself out. Um, and by not rushing, it's really helping with him to get himself out of the way, and it just works out really nice. Then we came over this double, he jumped it beautifully, super pleased with that. Then I believe we came round to the uh, double, oh no, <laughs> not right now. So um, again, jumping another little course, um, Tony said if he gets too fast, then I can stop him and be like, no, come back please. But actually I didn't need to at all. He popped around really, really nice. I was super pleased with the improvement. And um, yeah, super pleased. He didn't rush down any of the distances, which is amazing and such a big improvement for Buddy because before he would, like going down a double or a distance, he would see where he wanted to go and he would run. But you can see here, I said, whoa, and he waited for me. He didn't rush at all. He didn't pull my arms out, nothing like that. He was super good. So. I buried him very deep to that fence and he had a little, he told me off afterwards but that's okay because I still had control and I could ask him to move forward off my leg which he did very nicely. Then we came round to this double, popped in lovely and then popped out really well so I was super pleased with that and then we came round to the white oxer which he flew so super impressed not that you can see it but no he jumped it beautifully and i'm super proud hello everyone i'm now back home with buddy it's about three days later um i've been run off my feet really really busy but yeah we are home now and thank you for watching the videos please be sure to like share and subscribe it really does mean a lot and i really do appreciate it um Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!